What's up everybody, it's Vin Diesel here. We're going to be tying the faux clouser. The reason is because we're going to be using a product that's a synthetic bucktail. But let's get started. we got an A-Rex hook in the vise. This is an NS122 in a size 4. And we're going to be using some Semperfly ADOT uh, wax thread. Uh, the reason is because when we're tying the bucktail, that wax thread really helps to grip the fibers and uh, makes it a little bit smoother of a, proce a process. And the ADOT keeps, keeps it a little bit more slender. So go ahead and start your hook uh, thread by uh, tying down the uh, the shank of the hook, laying down a nice base, and end your thread kind of the first the the third forward third on the the shank towards the eye. And what we're going to do is this is a particular color pattern I used uh, last uh, spring for uh, targeting some white bass, and so I'm trying this new material. And we're going to put on some large lead eyes. And the way I do that is I measure the eyes back, and then the, where they end, that's where I'm going to position them little trick to tying these lead eyes in is I, I pull it on top of the shank with three wraps and then as I pull down it will naturally go one way and you see how it's at an angle so I'm going to crisscross it this way and you watch as those wraps get tighter it will straighten up so it's perpendicular to the shank and then I'll go the other way if you go the other way too many times it'll start wrapping back the other and so you kind of want to just you know alternate which way you go and do some over unders as well and get some really good thread wraps down and uh, because where I'm going to be fishing this in particular, I'm going to be dragging it through some rocks and then advance your thread between those lead eyes and the hook eye. Now this uh, foam material, uh, it's been out quite a while and I, I, I didn't like it at first, but I've run into an issue where um, I keep having my bucktail get disintegrated with uh, the more bass I catch. And so what I'm doing is I'm using this as the base also when it's dragged along the rocks. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit more durable, and a lot of people have confirmed that, especially in the salt as well. But with most of my clousers, um, the key is go sparser. Now these are naturally uh, uh, all lined up, so when I cut them off, I want to taper them just a little bit. And so I unstacked it, and I do this roughly two and a half times the length of the shank of the hook to make it proportionate. Um, using references like that help um, when tying different sizes and everything. And then we'll go ahead and tie this in right here in front of the eyes. And if you want tips on how to tie this in, um, I have other videos on using uh, Bob uh, Clouser's method of uh, making that oval. Or watch it from the pro himself. This is one of his patterns. And this is just a new material here by uh, a Flyman uh, Company. And so we're going to uh, get this uh, a faux bucktail nice and secure the same way we've tied all our other clousers. And you can see it just looks really, really nice and gives a, it's going to provide a really nice straight profile. And that looked money. Now the pattern we're going for here is yellow and pink. And so I'm going to do a lighter crystal flash here. And this is a little bit longer than the uh, traditional crystal flash. I don't know where I bought this, but... Um, we're basically going to cut off the one side here, and I've got about four or five strands, and I'll simply double it over, creating a V, and that middle point right there is going to be my tie-in point. And so I'll wrap it right there around my thread, and I've got about two wraps behind the eyes, so we, we're not building bulk because this head is going to be tapered. And I'll just wrap back to the eyes, separate it so that half the crystal flash is going down the one side of the hook, point, or the hook and then the other half going on the other, but they're still on top. And then I'll just proceed to wrap back and then I'll crisscross over doing a wrap behind and then proceeding up to the hook eye. And that way the crystal flash there is going down each side and even. Now we're using some Nature Spirit. This is a, a large uh, bucktail. Uh, I found their bucktails to be consistent on uh, quality. And so I traditionally use theirs. And so we're just going to cut off some of our longer fibers here. The faux bucktail, the synthetic, is quite long. Uh, we trimmed it off and you can see... You know, we're we're not going to have this bucktail is going to barely be long enough for where we're at, and so that's another real pro of that uh, faux bucktail. But I like mixing the synthetic with the natural, and so we're just going to measure it up. And I grabbed a little bit more fibers of color here. We'll cut them even. And if you haven't tied in a clouser, look how I'm pinching this so it's in an oval. And I'll do two wraps over the top, and I'm not tying down. And then as I pull up. That's the key. That's what keeps them lined up on top, and that's uh, from Bob himself. He always said pull up on all the videos I've watched, and uh, it really helps to create that um, taper uh, by creating that oval and by wrapping up your, or pulling as you as you come up on the hook shank. Uh, it's not uh, flaring them as much to twist around the hook shank and keeps them right there on top. 
And so now the key is I just made sure my bucktail is divided evenly. And I'm just going to clean up this uh, head here by uh, creating a nice uh, tapered nose. And we're using an 8 aught, and so it's going to take a few more thread wraps than if you went with a heavier thread like a, a 6 aught. But that way we can use the thread to our advantage and just create a nice little nose. Now the advantage to using white uh, thread is you can always uh, color it. Um, I just use Sharpies for that, and then we're going to resin over the top. So we'll just do a three-turn whip finish. Uh, depending on where you need uh, more thread, uh, you can do it at the eye or at the back. And then we'll cut out our thread. And now I'm just going to grab a pink Sharpie, and I'll color this pretty pretty good. Put on uh, two coats just to make sure it penetrates in. I'm, I'm trying to cover every little bit of white there. And uh, I don't know if this makes a big difference to the fish, but it does for me in the confidence. And so you can see this clauser is very, very slender. That uh, faux bucktail is just really sparse there on the bottom, which is what I want. It's going to be durable as I drag this through the rocks. And uh, so now we're just going to use some of the Semperfly no tack UV. And I'm going to apply quite a generous amount. I want to uh, make this durable on the front end. Like I said, I'm going to be dragging this through the rocks. And so most of the beading is going to be taken on those lead eyes. And so I'm just going to apply a little bead there on top, making sure it gets in between the uh, bucktail and the eyes. I'll put a little bit on the bottom, and then I'll grab my uh, bodkin. Or you can use your tip if you want. Um, I try... The problem with using your tip is you'll get fibers on it and like you can see I think I had a fiber right there that kind of pulled the resin off and so it's easier just to grab your bodkin and kind of work that resin around and this no tack as you can see it stays right in place. It's not dripping around those that gap and so I'm just going to take that and spread it up and over because right here this is what is going to be hit on the rocks the most. Um, that is going to be our damage, and I want to make sure that these stay put. Uh, you could even put an extra layer of super glue down in the beginning, uh, but I'm just going to use the resin as my uh, my strength and structural integrity on this. I mean, the, the wax thread will hold everything in place, but um, banging through where I'm going to fish these, I want to make sure it's uh, bulletproof because the last thing I want to do is tie this up and lose it on one fish or have the lead eyes break off. I don't know. I mean... Might as well spend the time, extra time here at the vise to make sure it's good. So give that a nice cure. And then I'm going to use a uh, no, uh, the solar as a bone dry to kind of tie in that bucktail there at the rear. Just a, it's a thinner resin that penetrates in. And I'm just going to give a generous coat right there so that it's bonding to those thread wraps and the faux bucktail. And then I'll just give an extra coat right there around those lead eyes, just making sure everything gets penetrated real nice and just a smooth even coat um, you know if the fly looks better it catches more fish that's science I'm joking but it does give me more confidence in it knowing that I you know it looks the way it should so uh, go ahead and give that a cure you can see this is a yellow and pink the color combinations and availability of materials for this particular pattern are endless I mean eyes uh, the faux bucktail comes in I don't know how many colors uh, nine or ten that I have at least now bucktail comes in a zillion colors, crystal flash comes in a zillion colors. You can change up your thread, you can change up the crystal flash. So the key is just having plenty of them in the box and if one color is working, make sure you have it next time you go out. So tie some up in your favorite combos and have fun with it.